We got ourselves Yujitsu gonna be first up over for the team two. I like the Mog. That Mage Shower set looks so good. Ifox is gonna be first up. Stone Hunter Yujitsu, that's gonna be a death shot. Come off the bat, just trying to see if he can burn as much damage as possible. It's gonna be an in cap for a second. As he's ready to throw, I think, a grenade that, or he's ready to throw in his weapon i think maybe just ready in the side gonna be jitsu with the face jump for a second trying to see if they could reconnect with ifox not let him opportunity to just escape that's gonna be jabs back to back just let him catch up with ifox and not let him go anywhere ifox kind of in a tight spot gonna be a disarm for a second doesn't necessarily need weapons in order to give the pressure that's gonna be him just making sure that he gets dodged the grenades rolling in you just again with those jabs just not giving the man a break that's gonna be a quick karma ifox might have to pop a defensive here and I think maybe that's a freezing trap. Good work, right? Walk, walk and just into the freezing trap. Trying to see if he might be able to give him some, a little bit of heal just for survivability. That's going to be a turtle shell before the offensive fury comes out. And I Fox does not have. Oh, that's going to be a death shock him. But Yujitsu, I guess he already had some damage rolling in. Maybe that was damage from the images. I think already offensive fury and pre ahead of time. Got to be careful up next. Trying to see if he might be able to take down Yujitsu. Lexi, but careful. This is gonna be Jitsu with the BDB. Trying to see maybe you can lay, layer in some burst, but it's gonna be a blind taking him out of the game for a second. Giving careful the opportunity to play it more carefully. Does not go for the sap. He goes for a kid shot instead. Resolve trigger. Actually, resonator is gonna be a big explosion and careful taking him out. Not giving that monk an opportunity to recover at all. We'll save the feral druid right up next. Gouge by careful. This is looking to maybe get himself a bit of a reset. Does have a moonfire on him, like there's a bleed or two. And that's gonna be a restump by save. Big bleeds on the careful. He better be extra, extra, extra good. Is gonna go for the sippy cup as the bleeds are rolling in. And save, I think, me was expecting it. Bear for him ahead of time while Flash Card is still holding. Careful trying to get as many finishes as possible. Trying to be aggressive with save. That's actually getting quite a bit of damage. Gonna be Thorns up next. Glocker Shadow, so careful, doesn't have to worry about Thorns at all. Just continue to get back to back finishers and to save. Not get opportunity at all to really get an aggression. That's gonna be a quick stun. Trick it out of careful. Does he go maybe for a gouge? Definitely needs to go for more gouges. Vanished by the rogue. He's just looking for a reset. Save, looking to recover a little bit on health. Careful, maybe going for that sipping cup. It doesn't look like careful has. Oh no, he does have a stealth shield. So at least he can use that. He does have some kind of dots on him, I think, though. Actually, maybe not. I think I was totally wrong. Gonna be a flash cap. He's gonna interrupt it real quickly. As I'm trying to get himself a bit of a shield. Quick roll into careful. Maybe he can go for a stun. He's gonna try to see if he can dip behind him. Maim right after. He's gonna have a resonator of his own. Maybe careful will be okay. He's gonna just walk out of the resonator with a relentless. He doesn't sit stuns along at all. Stun onto save. Doesn't have a bar skin. Is not gonna be able to save him, though? That's still a lot of damage. Out of careful. The rogue evasion back off for this rogue as he just continued to get defenses back to back. Blind onto save. No trinket. I think maybe careful was trying to see if he might be able to get a trick out of the guy does he have a kid a shot looks like he's just gonna have to wait kid a shot to save while he's a bear form does prefer to regen it this is where careful needs to make sure he has an evasion for this uh, feral droid needs to deny the feral any kind of bleeds that's gonna be massive massive bleed does he have the kyrian if he has the kyrian to pick up he might actually be okay does he use advantage for a second does he have the kyrian though I don't think he does. The shield, the while he's in stealth, does give him some survivability. Sipic up is given an opportunity to recover. He isn't out of the fight just yet, but he's definitely super behind. The save goes in for full flash count. This Pharaoh's looking extra healthy. Careful, looking really, really worse for the wear and tear. And there's a lot of wear, tear, rip, rakes, and moot fires that are really just, just not giving this boy an opportunity to really make a return for this duel. Death gonna be up next. Unholy Death Knight. Try to see if we can tackle the Feral Druid. That's gonna be a flash cut for flash cut. Armies of the Dead slowly coalescing around save as he goes in a bear form. Trying to see if he can break away from death. That's gonna be the A bomb rushing at him with an extra transformation chain of ice on the save for a second, gripping him down as he's trying to go up the ramp. But it's gonna be a quick roar as he's still looking for an escape plan. Just trying to avoid these pets as best possible. At least while the dark transformation is up, death is not allowed to get himself the army of the dead. Now, after that stun with a quick strangulate, finally the corpses rise from the wooden floorboards. I mean, I guess if maybe this ogre is the one who built this arena, I guess there'll be like some corpses in there, right? Just, you know, maybe like, maybe this is the corpses of other combatants that have died and slowly decayed into the wood. I'm trying to find a way to like make it thematic. Why would it be zombies rising from the floorboards? <laughs> is it going to be a stun to death? Does he have a bash to follow up with a resident chicken? There's also damage. Death might be a big, big trouble. Has a little bit of rooting power. Sacrifice on the goal. Summoning a new one. Needs to go for a death strike immediately. A savior is looking to maybe let the dots wear him down. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Quick intro by the bed as it goes empowered. 
But Saif is able to take these boys out. Three down. Two to go with Chilpils and Sensei up next. Say with a full wall. Try to see if I'm able to tank up this damage. As Chilpils just unleashing the full might. Oh my god, save! Might be in big, big trouble. Does get himself friends in region. Bear form bars him for a moment. That might be able to be enough to survive this. The armies of the dead are just gonna take him down. Not even Chilpils. Touching him at the end, it's just the grippy hand continuing to claw in every other direction. Tense God is going to be up next. Big jab to catch back up to Chilpils with a stun to fall and trick inside of him immediately. Chilpils needs to find a way to break away from Tense. Needs to make sure he is not getting locked down by Fist of Fury. Tent needs to make sure he gets himself daggers if it's a fury chain of ice to try to separate him and bring up Boopity Bob cancels his own fist Chilpils might be in big trouble does get hit with a death storm has glitch board in order to get himself some death claws in order to self heal continue to run away from tent still under a ton of pressure in cap for a second flush to let him recover maybe a little bit of health tent is able to jab him over touch of death to take him out real quick and drop it a banner on the boy a little bit rude but Tin get in with a BDB. Lexium does not have a trick anymore. Is it going to be taking that one, Sensei? Oh, my goodness. I love that banner. I like the BM behind it. But then Sensei just came down and just one kick. And this is what it was. Taking the momentum into Notes. Karma immediately as the thorns is up. Notes is going to knock him back for a second. Looking for a bit of recovery of his own. Why are you guys flagging each other? What is this BM? First, my boy Chupas got flagged. Now Sensei just going and flagging that dude. Huh? Lexi better notes, doesn't have a trinket. Barskin is up. Is it gonna be enough though? For the dragon punch to fall, it does get a quick roar. Knock him back, Sensei does not knock him down off the bridge. Knocks him down ramp, which is gonna allow him to recover a little quicker. Notes, try to go for a cyclone. Back in that bear form. We should see it was neck roll right now, because Flash Cup would have come in handy being bear form. Cyclone onto Sensei. It is a quick cast. Trinket out of Sensei as he goes for a touch of death. Oh, committed a trinket. I think Thanos has an opportunity to score a kill right now because of no trinket. Stretch Armstrong coming back in again with a quick end cap as Sensei goes in for a massive dragon kick to separate himself to another side of the arena altogether. Big old Ibu by Thick Thanos trying to give some damage. Big Haunt trying to body Sensei down. Karma does come out as he gets hit without Haunt. And Sensei looking for the recovery of Button and Prison is going to stop him. I think Thick. They're just trying to see if I'm able to take him down. Quick meta on top. And needs to catch back up to the Sensei. Needs to land a stun on him or something. Flash come for Sensei looking for the recovery. Quick interrupt by Thick. That's gonna be Sensei again just trying to keep himself moving. Ring of Peace down. And Thick trying to see if he might be able to swing around it. Quick in cap onto the Demon Hunter as his butter approach. Black Soup chickens out of him immediately. Gonna be blur up and Sensei with a stun. I think it might be over for the monk. Unless he has some kind of trick up his sleeve. That's gonna be diffused magic for a second. But it's still has a ton of pressure. And Thick Thanos might be able just to find him. He has plenty of mobility. You can't outrun a Demon Hunter. They're literally there to hunt demons. And everything else and demons are generally not that mobile so this is just uh this is just a walk at a park for this man not even the sprint and since it does go down a stick ends up taking him out very very close i feel like i feel like maybe sensei could have not triggered against the boomkin would have been a longer duel but I think if he didn't shrink it, maybe would have been able to do something against the demon hunter. But I love that player's like, you know what? I gotta take this boomy out. Otherwise, this guy's living way too long.